In this problem, we have a function of two variables, uh, f of x, y equals 1 over x, y, and we're trying to find the domain. So the domain is the set of all ordered pairs that we can plug into this function that makes sense. So the only time this function will not make sense is if we have something like 1 over um, 0. So in other words, x, y cannot be equal to 0. So that's the condition. The product x times y cannot be equal to 0. However, we can be a little bit more, more precise than this. The only way it will be 0 is if x is equal to 0 or if y is equal to 0. So the only way it won't be 0 is if neither of them is 0. right? Because if one of them is 0, the whole thing is 0. right? So we can't let any of them be 0. So to write the final answer down, we do have to use set notation. Remember, the domain is a set. So it's the set of all of the ordered pairs in the xy plane, so x comma y, such that, and the condition we said is that x is not equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0. Sometimes um, you can put a comma here instead of an and. If you put a comma here, it's implied to be an and. The important thing is, though, that neither can be 0. Because if one of them is 0, the whole thing is 0. So you cannot allow either of these to be 0. So that would be the correct answer for the domain.